Good morning, Topaz parents. This is Mrs. Visconti in room 224. Once again, going over some of the math that we are doing in the fourth grade California Math Expressions book. We have moved out of long division, although we still practice every day, and we've moved into algebraic expressions and notations. So I wanted to just quickly review some of the ways that we talk about algebra in class. So for our first problems, we are using numbers and variables. In this case, we are using Z's and N's to talk about a number that is missing and we are going to be simplifying these expressions. So the students know that we use our phrase PEMDAS and P stands for work here first. So they know to go into the parentheses and work within there first. So our first problem is 5z minus z. So if this is a single z and these are five z's, we are going to be taking one away which would leave us with 4z. Once we are done inside the parentheses, we can work outside now. So we have 4z minus a single z. And that would give us a 3z. These expressions are not to be solved, merely to be simplified. And the same with this one, we have a single n by itself and then a 5n, and we are adding them together. There are no parentheses, so we just go straight into addition. 1n by itself plus 5n's would equal 6n. Now in class, sometimes what we tell the students is to not look at this like a letter, but instead call it like you're looking at nails or maybe down here zebras. Give the, the variable a name or some kind of value so that way when they're adding them together they know, oh well, if I had five nails and then I had one nail, when I add them together I get six. All right, to the next step of problems that we have. This is to solve. We will come out with an answer and again we always work within the parentheses first. So our first step is to divide. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. And now we can take the rest of our problem here. And we have 30 divided by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. For these problems, the students need to slow down and make sure that they do each individual step correctly because if they do the division incorrectly inside the parentheses, then no matter how well they do the problems outside, the steps outside of the parentheses, they will get it wrong. So slowing down, making sure that they do each operation correctly is the key to these problems. So this next one here, inside my parentheses, I have 600 minus 400. 600 minus 400 is 200. And now I am able to work outside of my parentheses and I minus 10 or I subtract 10. 200 subtract 10, or 200 minus 10 is 190. Again, if the subtraction is being done wrong inside the parentheses, then the, pro the operations outside will not be done correctly. And then for our last type of problems that we are working with, we are evaluating these problems, and I tell the students to look at it like a puzzle. Here we have an A that is going to be fitted into any place where there is another A, and down here we are missing a piece and we are going to be finding it, so solving it like it's a puzzle. So for this first problem we would work inside the parentheses, 10 minus 4 is 6. This dot is another way to show multiplication, so my problem here is 6 times 7. And if 6 times 7 is on this side, then it is also equal to 6 times 7 on this side. So my box is equal to 6. And they can figure out the rest of the problem to make sure that their sides balance because that equal sign is like a scale and both sides must balance. They must be the same on each side. Our last type of problem is taking a variable and replacing it with a value of some kind. In this case, anywhere you see an A, you are going to replace it with a 4. So I have the students cross out the A and replace it with a 4. And again, using PEMDAS, I know to work inside my parentheses first. So I have 4 plus 6, which equals 10. Now I can work outside of my parentheses, and that is 19 minus 10, which gives me an answer of 9. I hope this has helped. 
with the homework coming home this week, make sure that the students follow the steps to work inside the parentheses first, next is exponents, and then working on multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, which is our PEMDAS, and also to slow down and make sure that each step is being done correctly so that way the rest of the problem flows easily and is done correctly. Thank you, and once again, I hope that this has helped.